You call Donald Trump. Um, he's misguided. You say now he's he unstable. Is unstable. He is unstable. Brad. Uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. Uh, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden. I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room, and he has the judgment and the experiment and experience to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. There Joe were Biden, no concerns raised. Brett, Joe Biden is not on the ballot. This Brett, was not the Brett. same Joe Biden that we saw on the Donald debate stage. Trump is on the ballot. I understand. You met with him at least once a week for three and a half years. You didn't have any concerns. I think the American people have a concern about Donald Trump. You uh, been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine? And the gang keep calling me, calling me. Can't escape the voices because they all in me, all with me. Go. That's that nigga, you know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. Welcome back to the channel, G Mac back with some thoughts, with some opinions, with some reactions. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, select all for all content. And with that said, let's take this walk. And look, without further ado, let's react to this Kamala bomb. Let's go. Your campaign slogan is a new way forward, and it's time to turn the page. You've been vice president for three and a half years. So what are you turning the page from? Well, first of all, turning the page from the last decade in which we've been burdened with the kind of rhetoric coming from Donald Trump that has... Right off the bat, we see Kamala cannot answer a question. Right off the bat. And we also see that she also got the uh, the little headphone earrings. You know what I mean? If those look familiar. And this time it looks like they're in white gold. She has them in gold as well. But yeah, immediately blaming Trump. Let's go. Designed and implemented to divide our country. More than 70% of people tell the country is on the wrong track. They say the country is on the wrong track. If it's on the wrong track, that track follows three and a half years of you being vice president and President Biden being president. That is what they're saying, 79% of them. Why are they saying that? If you're turning the page, you've been in office for three and a half years. My man is asking the right questions. I ain't even gonna lie. He's absolutely asking the right questions. <laughs> and Kamala looks dumbfounded. And Donald Trump has been running for office. But you've been the person <laughs> holding on, the office. Come on. Madam you Vice and President. I both know what I'm talking about. You and I both know what I'm talking about. I actually about. don't. What are you? How many? You and I both know what I'm talking about. You and I, bro. It, what that tells me, <laughs> that response, you know what I mean? That tells me that whoever is speaking in her ear did not prepare either for rebuttal or for the life of me if it's true this question i mean i don't she's clearly not prepared legal immigrants would you estimate your administration immigration released nah. into the country over the last three and a half years well, I'm glad you raised the issue of immigration because I agree with you. It is a, it is a uh, topic of discussion that people want to rightly have. And you know what I'm going to talk about. Yeah, but right do you, now, just a is, number. Do you but, think it's but, one million, three million? I'm glad he cut her off because you, you know, we all know what she was about to talk about when it comes to immigration, it comes to her being Indian. I grew up in a middle class family. I got time for that shit right now. Brett. Let's just get to the point, okay? The Let's point is that we have a broken immigration system that needs to be repaired. So your and Homeland Security Secretary said that 85% well, no, of apprehensions... I'm not apprehensions, finished. I'm not finished. We have a, we have it's a rough estimate of 6 million people have been released be, but, into the country. And let me just finish. I'll get to the question, I promise you. I was beginning to answer. And <laughs> when, when you came into office, your administration immediately reversed a number of Trump border policies. Within hours of taking the oath... 
was a bill to fix our immigration system. Yes, ma'am. It was called and, the U.S. Citizen Citizenship Act of 2021. Exactly. It was and, essentially and so, but, but a I, pathway I, to citizenship for the finish, Yes, ma'am. May I finish? May I finish responding, please? But, here, but, this, but you have to let me finish. You please. had the White House and the House and the Senate, I'm and in they the didn't bring up that bill. I'm responding to the point you're raising, okay. and I'd like to finish. Yes, ma'am. Yes, the optics of that did not look good because that's the second time he tried to talk over Kamala. But into the naked eye, into the people, obviously, it's going to be like, oh, my God, just another bully. You know, she should have never did this. But she's so tough that she went on it. She's bombing. And the reason why she wants to talk and she's not getting straight to the point is because there's a time limit on this shit. Just like the debate, there's a time limit. She's trying to filibuster so my man doesn't get to as many tough questions as he needs to. And so she's trying to go through the motions of filibustering when really she could just answer the question directly. And she's clearly not trying to do that. And whoever's in it is directing her not to. But she wants to get off what she wants to say to paint a narrative. And, and this, this is not what it is. Answer the question. We recognized from day one that to the point of this being your first question, it is a priority for us as a nation and for the American people. It would have allowed us to put more resources into prosecuting transnational criminal organizations, which I have done yes, as the attorney general, former attorney general of a border state. Madam Vice President, a couple of things. Prosecuted trafficking of drugs, six, guns, and human beings. And six Donald Democrats, Trump, but let me just finish. Donald Democrats Trump voted against that bill. Learned about that bill and told them to kill it because he preferred to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. And in this election, this is rightly a discussion that the American people want to have. And what they want are solutions. And they want a president of the United States who's not playing Bill political Buster. games with the issue, I hear you. but actually is focused on fixing Six it. Six Democrats voted against that bill. It would have allowed 1.8 million illegal Im immigrants into the country a year. A lot, a <laughs> lot of conservatives had a problem with it. These are the six Democrats. But more importantly... <laughs> Bro, <laughs> she's bloviating about how Trump it's Trump's fault, it's Trump's fault, it's Trump's fault. Yeah, pretty much Fox News. It looks like they had a setup for that. Set up for her to be like, ah, it's Donald Trump who killed it. I mean, listen, they had uh, the six Democrats up there who <laughs> who also helped kill it. So, I, you know, yeah, I guess it wasn't just Trump. Uh, let's go on. To the original premise, included in those were a large number of single men, adult men, who went on to commit heinous crimes. Immigration. Jocelyn Nungary, Rachel Morin, Lakin Riley, they are young women who were brutally assaulted and killed by some of the men who were released at the beginning of the administration, well before a negotiated uh, bipartisan bill. Former President Clinton actually referred to Lakin Riley Sunday campaigning for you in Georgia, saying if those men had been properly vetted, Lakin Riley probably would not have been killed. So if it wouldn't have happened, this is well before any negotiation. This is well before Donald Trump got involved in the politics. This before is a specific it. policy decision by your administration to release these men into the country. So what I'm saying but, to you, no, do you no, no, owe no, those I families think it's really, I think an it, apology? Let me just say, first of all, those are tragic cases. Right. There's no question about that. There is no question about that. And I can't imagine the pain that the families of those victims have experienced. Mm -hmm. For a loss that should not have occurred. Mm -hmm. So that is true. It is also true that if a board of security had actually been passed nine months ago, it would be nine months that we would have had more border agents at the border. First of all, <laughs> for that to be all the office is kind of cold. And again, you know, to my point earlier. Seems just very unprepared. It, you know, she. How were you not prepared to answer that question when Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton, Mr. Democrat, is on a campaign trail for you? Went out there and said that the immigrants should have been properly vetted, and it wasn't during this administration. Like, how could you not be prepared for that question? Like, I don't, I don't get it. But also reverting back to the bill that he already prefaced his question with saying, "This is before." All of those bills and her response is if that bill was passed nine months ago in you know 2024 it, it, man
man. If y'all don't see, if y'all don't see, man. More support for the folks who are working around the clock, trying to hold it all together. Madam Vice President. To ensure that no future harm would occur. And this election in 20 days will determine whether we have a president of the United States who actually cares more about fixing a problem, even if it is not to their political advantage in an election, because there was a solution, Brett. Madam Vice President, it was a policy decision in the early part of your administration. Thank you. One of the mothers talk about it. Take a listen. Because of the Biden-Harris administration open border policies catch and release, they were enrolled in the alternatives to oh, the program. Fox, Fox was this pulling out all the stops, into the like United all States. of the stops. It was not even a full <laughs> three weeks later that they would take my daughter, Jocelyn. You got to tug at the heartstrings, bro. I believe the bro. Biden-Harris my administration Lord. open border policies are responsible for the death of my daughter. Kamala did this, man. That's the early days. So do you owe them an apology is what I I'm saying. I will tell you that I am so sorry for her loss. Okay. I am so sorry for her loss. Sincerely. But let's talk about what is happening right now with an individual who does not want to participate in solutions. That is crazy. Like, that, is, that is actually crazy. <laughs> Sure, you are the vice president. You are a woman. You are getting the sympathetic, the sympathetic vote from women. And all you have to say is, hey, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But let's talk about this dude. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. Let's talk about that as well. But do you Brett, want to answer in, in all fairness? I told you, I feel awful for what she and her family have experienced. During that time, you said repeatedly that the border was secure. When in your mind did it start becoming a crisis? I think it, we've had a broken immigration system transcending, by the way, Donald Trump's administration even before. Let's, let's all be honest about nice that. Nice to admit. I have no pride in saying that this is a perfect immigration system. I've been clear, I think we all are, that it needs to be fixed. We need more. I was just down at the border talking with border agents and they will tell you, and I'm sure you probably, I know you investigate and you are a serious journalist. They will tell you, we need more judges. We need to process, we need to process those cases faster. We need the support for those cases that should be prosecuted. They need more resources, and Congress ultimately is the only place that that's going to get fixed, Brett. Well, that's how this system that's, works. That's the premise that's, of this question. But there that's were nine she trying to get off that. That's how the systems work. You know what I mean? How uh, the White House secretary tried to get off the whole Congress thing. You ask Congress, that's how it works. As if a president can't veto things or <sighs> playing in your faces. Plus executive orders that were rescinded in the first days. Many of those were Trump border policies. I'm not going to stay here because there's other things to talk about. But you frequently talked to the Border Patrol Union for support of that bipartisan bill, and they did. They supported it. But they also just endorsed Donald Trump and said, you've been, quote, a failure with border security. Why do you think they said that? I think they're frustrated, and I get it. They want support. They want support, and that's what that border security bill would have done. These guys down at the border, these men and women, they're working hard. They're working around the clock. I get it. There's a lot of people that look. Where is the accountability? I get it. You know, and if Donald Trump ain't fuck it up, you know, you know they be cool. Uh, you know, uh, retroactively. Uh, those unfortunate victims may not have been victims. If we would have got it nine months ago, maybe nine months ago, then maybe, you know, two, three years prior, you know, they wouldn't have been victims. Man. <laughs> what you said in 2019 when you first ran for president. Uh, and there have been changes, and you've talked about some of them. When it comes to immigration, you supported allowing immigrants in the country illegally to apply for driver's license, to qualify for free tuition at universities, to be enrolled in free health care. Do you su still support Great. those things? 
Listen, that was five years ago, and uh -huh. I'm very clear that I will follow the law. I have made that statement over and over again, and as Vice President of the United States, that's exactly what I've done, not to mention before. You, what the, if that's the case, you what does that mean? Mate, Tim Walz, who, governor of Minnesota, who signed those very things into state law. So do you support that? We are very clear, and I am very clear, as is Tim Walz, that we must support and enforce federal law, and that is exactly what we will do. All right. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care who you're voting for as it pertains to this next question, right? Clearly, she just said, I'm not answering your question. She just pretty much said, I'm not answering your question. Hey, we're going to do what we're going to do. Is really, really, is that the type of personality you want as a president who just cannot seem to be honest unless the, the light that they're seeing in comes in their favor. Like that's, that's crazy. That's cr symbolism, man. Symbolism. We see why the people who are, you know, the biggest supporters and the biggest cheerleaders of Kamala are the biggest supporters and biggest cheerleaders of Kamala. I mean, this, you know, this type of activity, right. You know, is relative and typical. Be honest, man. Critics just say that you either relaxed or failed to, to enforce sanctions on Iran, allowing all of this money to flow let, into Iran, like let, billions. Let's in go back oil to Donald profits. Trump, who what? pulled that, out of who pulled out of a deal. You that. call Donald Trump. Um, he's misguided. You say now he's he unstable. Is unstable. He is unstable. But uh, he's not well. well. You say he's it, mentally not stable. I, he's not stable. Let me ask you this. And, you and told many interviewers that Joe Biden was on his game, that ran around circles on his staff. When did you first notice that President Biden's mental faculties appeared diminished? Joe Biden, I have watched in from the Oval Office to the Situation Room. And he has the judgment and the experiment and experience to do exactly what he has done in making very important decisions on behalf of the American people. Then why the f why isn't Joe Biden right now running for president? Then I, I, I don't get it. How did Joe Biden get ousted? What happened with the coup? This is ridiculous. If she can just get away with lying in front of your face and being proven to be a liar in front of your face and she's still going to get all types of grace, we are doomed as a country. I'm not even focusing on, you know, as a black man, the shaming of black men by black women and other black men because you motherfuckers ain't even researching or doing any type of critical thinking. Like, <laughs> it shit is all racial identity and I don't blame you. I think they've got you failing that way. Like, we are parroting, or you are parroting, uh, everything the national media, aka fake news, aka left-leaning liberal, divisive, you are parroting their points, and you're not even looking up the shit for yourself. That, or you just don't give a shit. Anybody but Trump. Like, this is 2015, and he wasn't already president. Boy, I hope in these last 20 days leading up to the election, people start to wake up, man. Honestly. And stop arguing with their feelings and argue with logic. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. And with that said, hopefully you've been entertained and informed while passing this precious time that we have. And hopefully I've earned your sub. This has been doing it for GP. Till next time. I spit the truth, call you a welfare, driven niggas get the boot. All of you squares couldn't fit up in my circle. All of us rare and will hurt you severe. Slow your roll, nigga, patience is virtues.